If you want to get your money out of dirty banks, there are options. Banks can't keep investing in fossil fuels and a destructive economy if we divest by changing to socially and environmentally responsible alternatives. Now, I mentioned earlier that according to the Green America nonprofit, the divestment movement has removed $9.94 trillion from fossil fuel companies thanks to the divestment of institutions and another $5.2 billion thanks to the divestments of 58,000 individuals like you and me. So we can switch banks to choose one that's more responsible or invest our money in projects that make sense socially and environmentally. So since in most places it's not possible to receive social security or even get a job unless you have a proper bank account, let's start with cleaner banks. During a tour of the town of Basel, given by Zero Waste Basel, we visited the anthroposophical bank here in Basel called the Free Community Bank, Freie Gemeinschaftsbank. And the bank follows a philosophy founded by Rudolf Steiner by which they seek to use mainly natural means to optimize physical and mental health and well being. So when you put your money in their bank, even if it's just a small amount of money, they borrow it to place it in loans for community projects for three to five years that are in line with their philosophy. And you get a small interest from these projects. They have a full list of loans in their annual report so you can see exactly where your money is going and what it's supporting. So they give to schools and kindergartens, healing education and social therapy, organic farming, community centers and retirement homes, ecological projects, restaurants, cultural and artistic initiatives and community housing. So I just love how transparent they are. It's also possible to directly invest in specific projects. So if you have you know, at least 100,000 Swiss francs to invest in them, you can do that too. And you can search to see if you have an anthroposophical bank near you as well. With a quick search, I found one in England and Scotland and Wales called Triodos. They only finance this project that are socially and environmentally beneficial, like charities, social businesses, environmental initiatives, and community groups. Otherwise, there are a few examples of banks that I can give in France. La Nef and the Crédit Coopératif work with the local economy through community financing, and they're not involved in any big controversial projects. They're a transparent bank, so you know who they they give their loans out to. So if you're just looking for a place to store your money without specific investments, then these types of banks are a great alternative. Another option to look into is credit unions, although even with credit unions you won't necessarily know exactly uh, how they're lending your money and if they're doing so in a way that sits right with you. Not all credit unions are created equal, so you can do your homework on them. If you don't know what a credit union is, it's different from a bank because it's a nonprofit where you can become a member and a part owner. So it's a member-owned financial cooperative and you can still make deposits, get loans and other financial services, but you know that the credit union is there to serve you and other members of your community and you actually have a say in how things are run. There are a few disadvantages to credit unions. The membership fee is generally five to $25. And since credit unions are smaller than banks, you'll likely have less options in terms of branch locations and ATMs. And you'll also want to see if your credit union is insured by the government. Most are, but some aren't. Another difference is that credit unions don't quite match banks in terms of services. So if you want to take out a giant loan for your big business, they might not be able to do that. And finally, not all credit unions have options for things like banking apps or mobile deposits, uh, although I'm sure that that will change as time goes on. But if these things aren't a great problem for you, then they're a great alternative to banks. GreenAmerica.org has a wonderful directory listing to help you find a better financial institution, be it a credit union or a bank. You can just plug in your location and see what pops up. So Green America is a nonprofit. It supports social justice and environmental sustainability, and they provide great resources in terms of cleaning your banking. In addition to their lists of greener U.S. banks and credit unions, they also have a list of socially responsible investing financial advisors, uh, green mutual fund companies, green money managers, green checks, and green credit cards. And you can find all of this on greenpages.org. Another option is looking for B Corp or values-based financial institutions. Around the world, banks that are committed to improving social and environmental issues can become a B Corp or a member of the Global Alliance for Banking on Values. So a certified B Corporation is a for-profit business that meets the highest standard of verified social and environmental performance, public transparency, and legal accountability. So B Corps often use renewable energy in their buildings as well. 
So you can search the B Corporation directory for banks to see if there's one in your area. Otherwise, you can look for financial institutions that are a member of the Global Alliance for Banking on Values. There are banks, banking cooperatives, credit unions, microfinance institutions, and development banks around the world who are members and collectively serve 50 million customers. These banks support people, planet, and profit. They make community investments, have transparent business practices, and focus on sustainability. So on the Global Alliance for Banking on Values, Values website, you can find a map to see where member banks are to see if you could join one. And we'll also leave a list of banks for you to check out in your workbook. Otherwise, you can look into community development financial institutions or banks that are part of the CDFI fund. They don't necessarily invest in environmental projects, but in projects that focus on social issues, you can find the list of certified CDFIs on their website. Another alternative to banks are ethical community investment funds. The money we keep in the bank can, without much effort, be reoriented into projects that facilitate a sustainable transition. So if you have a bank in France, a bank account in France, you could move that money to Terre de Lien, for example, so that your savings support small farmers. You can become a shareholder at Terre de Lien by putting your savings with them. So you purchase shares and your savings start supporting your community. So the funds placed with them are invested in buying land and farms to support producers who are growing organic food on a small scale. So your savings basically help revive the countryside. And you can decide which farm or which region to support, or you can let them decide for you. It's an incredible alternative, and my understanding is that there are tax benefits from investing there as well. Otherwise, there's the Sustainable Investment Fund through RSF in the States. Investors know exactly what their money is supporting. They know the exact organizations and they get a small financial return of 1% on their investment that's comparable to a bank certificate of deposit. So they get to support social enterprises that are tra tackling the planet's most pressing, pressing issues. And those who borrow the money know that the loans come from investors who have similar values and want them to be successful. And the interest rate is determined by all participants during gatherings every three months. So instead of having your money at a bank, your money could be supporting Eureka Recycling, for example, which is a recycling company that emphasizes zero waste principles by running educational events to prevent waste. So wouldn't you rather support that than funneling your money into projects that are <laughs> destroying the environment? So when you invest your money here, uh, you could also be supporting organizations like Farmer Food Share. We interviewed Ginny Bell from this nonprofit about how they support local farmers and bring their food to children who need food. And if you want to join them, it's just $1,000 to open an account to invest in their social investment fund. Otherwise, there are two other French options I want to mention. Énergie Partagée, where you invest your money in a fund that supports the creation of renewable energy centers in France. Or Blue Bees, where the investments are riskier and you get to support sustainable agricultural projects or even zero waste shops in the making. So of course, you can diversify your portfolio to make sure that your money is supporting things that you care about and that it's also bringing in the returns that you need.